Bold predictions, things that you believe. So fervently you claim you have bet your own money on these things. First up on this Thursday evening here in mid-August, what about Texas A&M? Tucker said the Aggies will have a losing record, but they'll beat Texas. Well, this is insane. So this is a 9.75 on the boldness scale. Their win total is 8.5, by the way. So understand what he just predicted. He just predicted that A&M has to go into the Texas game, which is the last game of the year. They have to go into that game 4-7. and seven. They can't go into it 5-6 and six because if they're going to win the game, that would make them 6-6, six and six and they didn't have a losing record. So A&M's got to be 4-7 and seven going into the game, which means they've lost to basically all of Notre Dame, Florida, Missouri, Auburn, LSU, South Carolina, Mississippi State, or Arkansas. There are seven losses there, and you're telling me they're going to beat Texas? Well, I'm telling you they're not, because if they're bad enough to lose those, they will not be good enough. I don't care how charged Kyle Field is. They will not be good enough to hang with Texas, so that's a 9.75. Appreciate you playing. Next up, I like this one. We had a version of this last year. Brian from Wilmington, North Carolina. Two teams from the Carolinas will make the playoff this year. Okay, slow down. I think a lot of you just started yelling nines on the boldness scale. This is only an 8.25 for me. Think about the structure of the playoff. We've got a G5 auto bid baked in here as well. So we got Clemson plus 205 odds to make the playoff. They're from South Carolina. We got NC State from North Carolina plus 470 odds to make the playoff. But they're both in the same conference. Point being, someone's got to come out of the ACC. So we could have one of them, but also Liberty has the best odds to go undefeated of any team in college football. And if they do that, they're going to be the one in the playoff. But also, App State is favored to win the Sun Belt. Maybe App State's the highest ranked G5 conference champ. So they're in this thing as well. I, I think there's a reasonable chance this ends up happening. And on the surface, it sounds a lot bolder than it is. So I gave that an 8.25. This next one is a lot more bold than 8.25. Chris... Just, just chose violence this evening from Atlanta, Georgia. He said, Ohio State will miss the playoff. And Chris laid out the whole scenario. But let's just, let's just take those first one, two, three, uh, five words. Ohio State misses the playoff. Nobody sees this coming. Nobody. How many people out there, and I'm talking about people putting their money on it, how many people are predicting Ohio State to just outright miss the playoff? How many people are putting that in writing and making it public? I'm going to make this a 9.75. This would reset every scale of logic. Like right now, people are talking about what happens to Ryan Day if he loses the Michigan game. But even those paths have him in the playoff. This one doesn't have him in the playoff. So I'm the first one to tell you you're like insane if you're talking about hot seat with Ryan Day. But if they don't make the playoff with what I believe to be the best team he's had there... I don't even know what it would sound like. Uh, that's three losses, by the way. I'm thinking it takes three losses for them not to be in. So that, I would assume, means they lose the Oregon game, they lose the Penn State game, and they lose to Michigan? Is that what happened here? If that's what happened, 10-2 mm, and two versus 9-3 and three is a very different thing. See, if they go 10-2, and two, and they're probably going to make the playoff if they do that, yeah, they're viewed as an underachiever, but they got a shot to atone for it in the postseason. Plus, maybe they beat Michigan, or if they lost to Michigan, maybe they still made the Big Ten title game and get a rematch, or maybe Michigan's not there. There, there are other ways to put lipstick on the pig at that point. But if they're 9-3, and three, they're not going to be in. And if they're 9-3 and three and not in, and Ryan Day's sitting there with that kind of talent and they didn't make the postseason, um, yeah, I don't even know. I have no idea. Hopefully, we don't have to cross that bridge. And lastly... This one's, uh, well, this one's eclectic. Robert from Tucson, Arizona. Arizona makes it to the playoffs only to be killed by an SEC team. I'm not a fan of this prediction, Robert, because it has total randomness baked into it. So um, my first question is, what are we doing? Secondly, let's talk about this. Arizona making the playoff. They're plus 1,100 to make the playoff this year. Over under win total, seven and a half. They have the seventh best odds to win the Big 12. It is the Big 12, so the rule there is anything can happen. But even if it happens, even if they make the playoff, you're predicting which conference is going to knock them out. 
which is out of anyone's control. Even the committee doesn't know how the bracket stacks up. So I'm going to put a 9.5 on this, and here's what's going to make me angry. If they make it, I'll be happy for Arizona for making it. But if they make it and go get beat by 38 against Georgia, someone's going to come back and tell me I told you so. And there's literally no possible way you could have seen this coming. You could, you could tell me you saw Arizona making the playoff. Who they play in the playoff, there is no skill whatsoever in knowing that. And uh, you'll be hard-pressed to convince me otherwise.